Tell me question one. Tell me how you would check the brakes are working before starting a journey. The brake should not feel spongy or slack. The brake should be tested as you pull off. The car should not pull to one side. Tell me question number two. Tell me where you'd find the recommended tyre pressures for this car and how the tyre pressures should be checked. So you'll find the tyre pressures in the manufacturer's guidebook, comes with the car. Remember to use a reliable pressure gauge um, and test the tyres when they're cold, not when you've been on a long journey. And oh, remember to fit the valve caps. Tell me question number three. Tell me how you would make sure that your head restraint is correctly adjusted um, so that you have the best protection in the event of a crash. So the head restraint, this is the head restraint here at the back of your seat. And uh, it needs to be adjusted so that this bit here, this is what we call the sticky out bit. And um, that wants to be level with the top of your ears and your eyes. So you like that as you're driving along. Okay, and it's just in case there's a crash, it just supports your head. Tell me question number four. Tell me how you check the tyres have sufficient tread depths and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. So to check the tread depth on your car, all you need to do is get a coin and push it in the tread there and it hopefully it'll go in so far so that really reached the kind of where it says pound you know then that you've got more than 1.6 mil across three quarters of the tyre. Also you're looking for any bumps or scrapes or bubbles on the wall of the tyre uh, to make sure that that's safe as well. Tell me question number five. Tell me how you would check the headlights and tail lights are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. Explain that you are, explain that you would operate the switch and then you'd walk around the vehicle and check the lights. This is a tell me question, so there's no need to go and actually check. But if you look here on the dash as well, you'll see the green lights have come on, which are telling us that the side lights are on and the dipped headlights. Tell me question six. Tell me how you'd know there's a problem with your anti-lock braking system. To check the anti-lock braking system is working, when you turn on the ignition, you'll see the ABS light there. And if that goes out like it has done, then you find the anti-lock braking system is working. Tell me question number seven. Tell me how you check the direction indicators are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. To check that the indicators are working, you're best to press this switch, which is a hazard warning light. And that will bring on all the indicators and then have a walk around the car to see if they're working. Again, this is a tell me question, so there's no need to exit the car and check that they're working. Tell me question number eight. Tell me how you check the brake lights are working on this car. So you would explain that you'd operate the brake pedal, so you press that down, and then you'd look in reflections in cars or, or windows, or you'd get someone to help you. Tell me question number nine. Tell me how you check the power assisted steering is working before 
starting a journey. So to check that the power assisted steering is working, when the engine is off like it is now, it will be very heavy and difficult to move. You shouldn't be able to move it any further than that, the steering wheel. When you turn the engine on, then it becomes much lighter. A good way to check is to apply gentle pressure on the steering wheel and then turn the engine on and you'll feel it becomes light. Tell me question number 10. Tell me how you'd switch the rear fog lights on and how you'd use them. No need to exit the vehicle. On this car, to check that the rear fog lights are working, first you would turn headlights on to the dipped headlight mark. And you can see on there we have two green lights which are telling us that we have dipped headlights. And then with this wheel on the inside here, you would turn that and now we've got three lights. The third light is telling us that the uh, front fog light is working. And if we do that again, we now have four lights. The orange light here is telling us that the rear fog light is working. Now when you would use these is when you have your, your vision is restricted to less than 100 meters. And as a guide, that's the length of a running track. So less than 100 meters. Tell me question number 11. Tell me how you'd switch the headlights from dipped to main beam. And tell me how you'd know the main beam was on. Tell me question number 12. Open the bonnet. Tell me how you check the engine has sufficient oil. To check you have sufficient engine oil, you'll find a dipstick, which is this one here, and you can pull that out. I'm not going to do it now because I've been driving the car. Uh, you can pull that out, wipe it, and then put it back in again, pull it out again. And when, if the, if the oil level is between the two marks, then you know that you've got sufficient engine oil. Tell me question 13. Open the bonnet. Tell me how you check the engine as sufficient engine coolant. To check you have sufficient coolant, you should look for this symbol inside the car and then um, look at the bulb and make sure that the level is between the maximum and the minimum. Tell me question number 14. Open the bonnet. Tell me how you would know you've got a safe level of um, hydraulic brake fluid. To check you have sufficient brake fluid in the car, you should look at this symbol and check on this clear tank here. And again, check that the level of the fluid is between the maximum and the minimum. The show me questions all begin with when it's safe to do so. And that's because you'll be carrying those out whilst you're driving along in the body of the test. But they won't be at the start, but there'll only be one. Show me question number one. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would wash and clean the rear windscreen. To wash and clean the rear windscreen, all you need to do is find these mark these um, symbols on your um, window wiper arm, and then turn first of all to this mark, which means you've turned the rear window wipers on, and then turn to that one, which means you have now spray in the rear window with water. And when it's on this mark here, then it's off. 
Show me question number two. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would wash and clean the front windscreen. To wash and clean the front windscreen, all you do is find your window wiper arm and pull that towards the steering wheel. That will spray the window and let it go. That will spray the window and operate the window wipers and that will clear and clean the front windscreen. Show me question. Show me question number three. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would turn on your dipped headlights. To turn on your dipped headlights, you will need to find your headlight switch, which on this car is on the indicator arm. And you can see here, we have a few settings. The first setting is a zero, which means the headlights are off. The second section, the second setting, should I say, is an auto, which means that when the uh, when it becomes dark outside, the, the lights will automatically turn themselves on. The third setting brings on the side lights. And the final setting, as you can see here, brings on either the main beam or the dipped headlights. And you will know the dipped headlights are on because you will see a green symbol on the dash which is telling you now that the dipped headlights are on. Show me question number four. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would set the rear demister. To set the rear demister, you will need to look for this symbol in your car and just turn it on. And that's all you need to do. Eventually, the rear window will clear. Show me question number five. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would operate the horn. To operate the horn is usually on the center of the steering wheel. And all you do is push. Show me question number six. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would demist the front windscreen. To demist the front windscreen, you just need to find this symbol in the car and press the button, and then it will demist the front windscreen in a few seconds. Show me question number seven. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would open and close the side window. To open and close the side window, you'll see in the door panel, there are four switches. The one that's nearest the driver's door, which is this one, you press that down, or bring it up it will open it will open and then close the side window this one is for the passenger side window and these two behind are for the back windows show me tell me questions 2020 Citroen C3